Hi, my name is Lauren Nespoli. If you have a student in your class who's deaf and there's no interpreter in the room, you can pre-tape yourself reading a book that you're going to read in class and have someone sign the book while you read it. So uh, you can play it on the computer in the classroom and the student can watch it and follow along with the signs. Uh, and if you put it up on TeacherTube, then they can watch it at home. And if they want to hear the story again or if their parents want to reinforce what they're learning in class. So today I'm going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle and my sister Caitlin is going to sign the book. So this is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end.